Hey, what's up to all my heathens and blasphemers out there? I parked my wheelchair in front of this webcam and hit record so that can only mean one thing. Yeah, that's right. It's time for Deception of Religion number 18. And today is my very highly anticipated, by absolutely no goddamn body, second part response to the lady I personally dubbed the Crazy Evolutionist. If you missed part one, I strongly encourage you to check it out. Why you ask? Because it's my YouTube channel and I said so. That's why. I don't come to your YouTube channel asking questions, so just do it. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm playing. Here's what you missed. So, this is a video for you atheists out there that uh, think that the Big Bang Theory is real and that's how we were all created. If we all evolved from fucking apes, why the fuck do we still have apes? Next year, the apes will take over the world. Apes, who suddenly grew a brain and took over the world. Why the fuck don't you have three arms? So why the fuck don't you have three penises? Three arms, three penises. So you motherfuckers believe that dust particles helped evolve us? I've had dust behind my fridge for 20 motherfucking years. It has evolved into anything except for way more dust. Well, I'm still waiting for something to evolve out of that dust, and it's not looking like it's going to happen. If we all came out of a vagina, who the fuck created the vagina? Seriously. Where is the vagina coming from? Wait a minute, why are you asking me where the vagina comes from? Just a minute ago, you claimed to know where we believe everything comes from. Did you not say we believe everything comes from dust? So, wouldn't the vagina also come from dust if that's what we believe? And second of all, I sure as hell hope you're wrong because if the vagina does in fact come from dust, then you've got a vagina plantation behind your refrigerator right now. Are you saying that those two big ass rocks banged together create life and then we have all these separate species? Are you fucking serious? Are you kidding me? Everything came from two rocks banging together? That's what you think the Big Bang Theory is? No, 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 young grasshopper. We no bang rock together to create life. We bang rock together to create fire. And you were born from your mother's vagina. I don't care, give a shit who you are. I. Uh, you have to agree with me that you were born from your mother's fucking vagina. I love the way she says that. I don't give a shit who you are, you have to agree with me that you were born from your mother's vagina. Like there's people out there who disagree with that. There's people out there that think they weren't born from their mother's vagina. Like she's trying to persuade somebody. And if you disagree with me, you're basically saying immaculate conception. No, 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 no. I never heard a more incorrect statement. That wouldn't be claiming immaculate conception. Immaculate conception is not not coming out of a vagina. Immaculate conception is the act of conceiving a child without sexual intercourse. It still has to come out of a vagina. Nobody is claiming that immaculate conception includes not coming out of a vagina. And yes, I'm making fun of you motherfuckers. Because Jesus was immaculate uh, contraception, but you weren't. Jesus was immaculate contraception. Immaculate contra... Yes, yes, okay? Jesus was immaculately preventing a pregnancy. Pre that's why he was born. Because that's what contraception means, you dumbass. It means something that prevents a pregnancy. You just said that Jesus was there immaculately to prevent a pregnancy. What? Face it, you weren't. Your daddy, well, did something with your mommy, and then there you came. That's how you were born. You weren't formed from fucking dust. No, you're right. The majority of us on this planet today were born through the means of sexual intercourse. 
No one is saying that babies born today are the result of dust evolution. That turn into monkeys that as far as I could see, are still monkeys. You trying to say that we are the same as monkeys? Fuck right off now. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not trying to say we're the same as monkeys. So, you fellows, gals, atheists, believe that we all form from two rocks banging together? No one is saying that we came from two rocks banging together, you stupid, ignorant waste of carbon. You're not gonna get light by banging two rocks together. The most you'll get is a pretty house fire. Oh, it broke. Elapsed time. Elapsed time. Elapsed time. Two thousand years. Two thousand fucking years go by. Let's have a look at what these rocks are doing. They're fucking not doing anything! Elapsed time. Elapsed time. Saying elapsed time is not the same thing as elapsing time. Wow, two thousand years have gone by already? Where'd the time go? I'd like to apologize to all my subscribers personally because I seem to have lost track of time and I didn't mean for it to take 2,000 years for me to get this video out. I'd like to apologize. Again, I lost track of time. But thankfully, as you can tell, I haven't lost my youthful radiant glow. It created the oceans and we supposedly climbed out of the fucking ocean as slimy little motherfucking fish. And then all of a sudden we turned into giraffes, zebras, hippos, cows, humans. I don't know why that's so hard to believe. I remember the days of being a giraffe. Oh, good times, good times. I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. I'm stopping here. I'm not planning a part three unless you guys really want to see it. In which case, let me know in the comments below. But as of right now, I'm not planning a part three because the rest of this video is so irritatingly redundant, it's ridiculous. She just simply repeats everything she said so far, and it's frustrating. I don't understand. If you know nothing about evolution, why make a video about it? And at least if you're gonna make a video about evolution as a creationist, make it a theological video because though I think that's stupid, it's more reasonable than making a video based on incorrect made up facts. Don't try and make a factual video when you have no facts. If you try to make a factual video when you have no facts, you're gonna waste people's time, you're gonna be annoying as hell, and probably most importantly, you're gonna be 100% completely, absolutely wrong.